And here he is with Jim Courier. Uh, Yannick, that was that was some match, boy. You guys hit the ball so hard, so cleanly. I got to ask you, is is a match like that, can you even enjoy it in the moment? Or are you so locked in on the competition that you can only look at it after it's over and appreciate it? <laughs> no, for sure, I appreciate it when it's over. But um, it's uh, obviously very tough to play against him. We we had some really tough matches in the, already in the past. Also, today was was three sets, but I could have lost both first sets. I, I, I had or he had so many break points and I somehow served really well on that one. And But it goes everything so fast, it's just more kind of reaction and then and trying to to move him a little bit more than, than I do. And obviously I, I want to thank everyone for staying so long. It's uh, 125. Um, it's, uh, it's always... It's always a, a huge pleasure to play here in, on this court. It, it doesn't really matter the time. It's, uh, um, I really appreciate it and, and happy to be in the next, in the next round. And, and you get a couple days off, so that's good. In that second set in the tiebreaker, he had you in real trouble, 5-1. What were you thinking at that moment and how did you escape and win the next six points? <laughs> I don't know. Um, it was... Uh, I just tried and on 5 1, we changed hands. Uh, that was a little bit windy, so I knew I had a little bit of advantage. Um, I, I, I tried to hold the serve for 5 2, and then somehow breaking him at, at least once, and, and, and I did it twice, then I was 5 4 on serve. And, um, you know, but this is all really, really tight. But actually, these kind of moments I, I really love to play. This is why I, why I practice for, and I'm, I'm really exciting when when we always have these pressure points on and I'm, I'm just trying to stay aggressive. So it, it, it went my way today, so I'm really happy. Two years ago, you were in the quarterfinals of the Australian Open and Stefano Tsitsipas played beautifully and he beat you in three sets. You were 20 years old, you were ranked 10 in the world, and you did something that most players in that situation wouldn't do. You decided to make some changes, very bold changes, a new team, and you now find yourself two years later probably where you were aiming to be, challenging now, uh, deep in these tournaments, number four in the world. What's that journey the last two years to, to become the player that you are today with your new team been like? Yeah, for me, it's always really important the process I make as a player, not only, but also as a person. And uh, I have to say the my team, what I have, the the company, which is we, we, we were talking before the tournament, actually, the the most important thing is is, is the company you have. And uh, this will last you for forever because I spend so much time with with these people there, um, which is uh, obviously a a really, really nice feeling, and and obviously when there the the, su uh, the success comes, we are all happy, and, and and if not, we we still have good company, good fun, and um, but we always will will try to 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 work as hard as possible, and then we see what what I can reach. Well, the work's paying off. There's no doubt. This. This effort tonight, it puts you into the semifinals of a major for the second time. You made your first one last year at Wimbledon. So you're going to meet the same opponent. Novak is, is the person you played in Wimbledon. You'd never beaten him at that point. He, now you've beaten him twice. How does this match with the experience that you gained in the semifinals and the experience in beating him the last two times, well, two of the last three times you played him, how does that change your outlook in this match? Yeah, I'm really lucky to face him again. This is uh, one of the biggest tournaments in the world. Happy that I can play against the number one in the world. He won here sometimes, so <laughs> it's going to be tough. But um, the only thing I can control is, is that I will give my 100%. I will, I will fight for every ball, and then, then we'll see what, what the outcome will be. Two days off. Congratulations to Yannick Center. Another very fine performance. He's into the semifinals.